Today, we have something incredibly special for you. The 2025 BMW M2. With its aggressive front grille, sleek lines, and muscular stance, it commands attention on the road. BMW has managed to blend sportiness with elegance perfectly. Check out these stunning LED headlights, the signature kidney grille, and these 19-inch alloy wheels. Every detail is crafted to perfection. Under the hood, the 2025 M2 is pure Bavarian muscle. The M2 remains rear-wheel drive only and also retains its available 6-speed manual gearbox. An 8-speed automatic transmission is also offered. The M2 is powered by an intoxicated twin-turbocharged 3-liter inline-6. It produces 473 horsepower and 406 pound-feet for the manual car, but the automatic gets a little muscle love with 443 pound-feet of torque. The M2 can sprint from 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. Top speed is capped at 155 miles per hour, with the M driver's package pushing the limit to 177 miles per hour. The handling is superb, thanks to the adaptive M suspension, precise steering, and rear wheel drive layout. Whether you're on a track or winding roads, the M2 delivers an exhilarating driving experience. Step inside, and you're greeted with a driver-focused cockpit. The M2 combines luxury with practicality. Passenger space is plentiful for front seat riders but the rear seats are more for bags and groceries than passengers. High-quality materials, a sporty steering wheel, and comfortable M Sport seats make you feel like you're in a race car. A 12.3-inch display behind the steering wheel serves as a reconfigurable gauge cluster and seamlessly transitions to a larger 14.9-inch touchscreen that provides access to BMW's 8.5 proprietary operating system. All M2s come with basic driver assistance features such as automated emergency braking and adaptive cruise control but if you want more advanced tech, To sum it up, the 2025 BMW M2 is a masterpiece of engineering. It offers a thrilling driving experience, luxurious comfort, and cutting-edge technology. So, will it be your choice? Share your thoughts in the comments.